um, dam that is causing this menace in Nigeria is a Cameroonian dam that is called the uh, Legdo. It was built in 1977. Okay, and um, there is an agreement they had with Nigeria when they were building this dam that Nigeria is also going to build a, a counterpart dam um, that is called uh, Dasin Hausa Dam. Okay, mm. this dam we are supposed to be two and a half size of this uh, Lado Dam that Cameroon is has yeah. built. Already. Yes, that Cameroon has built. Now, this dam that was supposed to be built by the Nigerian government, we are supposed to be the one an, uh, uh, cushioning effect of dam. Of the one that of Cameroon the one has. That Cameroon has. And now, this Cameroonian dam provides um, uh, irrigation to at least over close to 15,000 uh, you know, irrig irrigation farm. Okay? And this our own dam was also supposed to provide irrigation to uh, you know states like Adamawa, Binue, and all, all around that region. All, yes, yes, and also provide three hundred about three hundred megawatts of electricity, you know, to that environment. But you see, Nigerian government, being a government that does not care about the life of the citizens, refused to complete this dam. Started and abandoned it, and to this effect, our people are being flooded. You know, when Cameroon and in twenty thirteen. Nigeria entered into another another agreement with Cameroon mm. that at least before you open this dam, because when there this is was a after flow, it was opened in 2012, I yes, think the first because, flood. Yes, in 2013 they 2013, had, a, they had, yes, the they had an agreement, and this agreement that is that when the dam Cameroon dam is full and wants to release the excesses, that they should inform Nigerian government. For me. This is an irresponsibility, as long as I'm concerned, that a government chooses for Cameroonian government to inform them of when to open a dam and to prepare for for the for you know the consequences instead of building and completing a dam that they started since 1981. So it, it, it brings us to why we are asking this question because yes. we're aware that there is this work that can be done to completely avert the crisis exactly. that we're facing now exactly. so why is the government not looking at doing it one and then the states that are affected why aren't the state those state governments also talking about this situation because i was also going through the history of this and i realized that okay you can actually take care of this problem and we would not have the situation exactly. we're having now in river state exactly. in parts of in delta state in biosa state and many other states and this will come every 10 years at this magnitude as we speak on the east west road going to delta state people are saying that the waters already are beginning to come uh, uh take over the roads and that is also another problem uh, it might be a repeat of 2012 well we hope it doesn't get to that level why aren't these state governments affected also pushing to ensure that that contract is revisited and the federal government does what is needed that, that's why i said that it is it is a sheer irresponsibility on the part of those that govern nigeria because you you can see that it is is an aberration that in nigeria you know we prefer doing things that has to do with other citizens you know completely outside nigeria than taking care of the people that we sworn to the constitution to protect okay i think that all the states that are involved the northern states and the southern states and even in the middle belt especially yes, the the middle belt, states, yes. now it's it's taking over the by water is then is released to it passes through river Benue. exactly okay so it, 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 it's irresponsibility on the part of government i am thinking that now government should be talking about how to complete that dam instead of talking about relief material did you watch in anambra state you see people dying did you watch and see in Benin people died as i speak to you the entire edema has been cut off i can't go to my village okay even the east west road is is, is an understatement to say it's about to a part of east west road has already, already been cut, cut off. off already okay now if i'm going to my village now i get to a point ikri road has been cut off if i get to a point you have to use kenu in fact you don't need to even drive your vehicle back home you get to a point you use kenu and cross over and then you continue you get to another point to use canoe and cross over look at the uh the, to, to further buttress the irresponsibility of the the government if you mm -hmm. get to ibota bridge ibota bridge is directly opposite nigerian Ajip oil company 
okay where that tank facilities are mm -hmm. now if you get to that bridge there is a bridge there that has been built for over how many years and now water overruns that bridge as a matter of annually and now river state government as a promise uh, as a lectionary promise you know told us that they are going to build another road which they have been constructing uh, uh, seven years in office mm -hmm. and have not completed and if you get to that part of the bridge the other side of the extension of the bridge is also constructed at a level where water also overruns it it's irresponsibility okay now that part of every matter is cut off the part of Imo State you can go through Imo State is cut off. The part through River State is cut off, and yet this is a part of of River State that produce, like you will say, the golden fish that lay the golden egg.